What I did is I switched to a big egg, but it's a metal cutting burr, not aluminum. Because remember, I'm going to be cutting that bronze guy. Now the trick is, and the reason I do this is a simple matter of time saving. I have the same tool that most of the shops, I can already hear some of you guys out there, well I would chuck it up in a CV-16 and cut it from the top and get it precise. Well, this might not look precise, but it will cut the bulk out twice as fast as a regular machine and it gets it down to just where it touches the aluminum and then I use the tool that they use to dress the top of it. Now I'm hoping I can show you, let me see what it looks like. Okay, I think I can get down in there a little bit more. Yeah, that glare is going to be a problem. Alright, now. Alright, let me see. Now there's my burr. I'm going to go in here and try The trick is not to batter this right here. That's why I get in there close and hold it and support it. I'm trying to do it where you can see, but I do not bang these edges in here. I, I'm pretty good at this. I just go in there. Okay, see what it's looking like? It's starting to come on down. You can't imagine how much time it saves doing it like that. Hey, look how quick it made mincemeat out of that. You'll see a little bit of overhang where I couldn't quite get around the corner. Just a little bitty touch right there. But still, it just took seconds to cut it down with this. And that right there is exactly what you want to do. Now, let's take a look at it from the other side. Now, you can see it's almost plumb level right there. Look at this one up to the side of it. If you want to know how much is left right there, I can put a measure on it. But just looking at it, man, it's well over a uh, half inch to three quarters of an inch. And cutting that out right there and then reshaping this mound is going to let me have a lot more high lift airflow where it's going to make a lot better contour and, and remain mixed better as it comes out the bowl. So, let me show you the finishing piece now. Once I get all that done, now all I got to do is kiss it. Whereas if I went right here and used this tool, it would take probably every bit of 10 minutes to go in there and cut it. Because this bronze is, it, you know, it's fairly hard. Okay, let's see what we got. All you home DIY guys, this is all I'm using. A good old uh, Milwaukee, I believe it's a Milwaukee Magnum drill. But the piece right here is the trick. This is an end cutter uh, that's a certain diameter outside with an 11 30 seconds pilot. Now all I do is bring it in here and touch off the guide. Let's get a little bit better shot. Okay. Now here we are. We're right. Sorry about that, people. Here we are. We're right there uh, getting ready to put it in. Like I said, this right here is an 11 30 seconds pilot. Now it slides right in. Okay. And I'm just going to hit it. You still with me? Okay. Now I'm going to pull it out. See how now it's getting a good hit all the way around? I'm going to use this cutter. It does slide out some. And I tighten it, but it's always going to do it because it's just got a little bitty machine screw holding it in. But anyway, I'm going to do that till it kisses the aluminum. That's what I was looking for right there. I'm going to give it just a little bit more touch. All right, that's it. Now, what we're looking at 
is where I've leveled it with the bronze with the aluminum. Now look how odd shaped the aluminum is. This tells you consistency. Okay, I'll try to bring you down as far as I can. Now, look at that. You can see how the aluminum always do this, never have my little pointer. Okay, look how the aluminum thin over here, but a lot thicker over here than thick right there, not there. This right here kind of tells you how, the, how it was cast around that boss. So now that I've got it level, I've actually got somewhat of a marker on here where it tells me when I'm shaping the guide, I can go in here, all right, I need to pull meat here and on the top, not so much over here. And it's going to allow me to really get a good contour and shape because I, it's a marker where I can see the brass, it's level. So anyway, we see that this method right here is what brings it into true, yet on raw material removal, just for the sake of speed, I can go in here with this and you can't chuck any tool up and bring that brass down any quicker because this right here is a butcher hog. It'll just go in from the other direction and chop it. And as you can see, if you compare it beside the other one, it's much of a genius to see the difference. Like I said, it's a half to three quarter of an inch protrusion, which now with this right here and I shape it, I'm going to get quite a bit more CFM because I ain't got this big chunk of metal right here in the way as the air is trying to come and exit the bowl. I can contour it a lot better. But anyway, I'm going to let you see something real quick. This is what it looks like. Uh, coming from the other end. Let me see if I can do it and get you some light in there. Um, hold on. Okay, I couldn't do too much of a job with the light. But anyway, that's what it looks like when my grinder's in there cutting it and I'm bringing that down just uh, two or three swaps with that big cutter. It chunks it all out and it just is so much quicker. Okay, anyway, that's how I cut the guides down, bring it level and then kiss off on it. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I size for the tube. Because before I start porting, these things have to be done. Number one, the guide has to be trimmed down level with the aluminum. That has to be out of the way. Number two, I have to size the hole for the where I'm going to put the tube and get the tube ready to go in there before I do any cutting or else when you try to put it in, if you don't do that first, it'll offset and cause it to go a different direction. Sometimes it can be so dramatic that when you try to put a head bolt in there, it won't start on the block and uh, we can't have that. So let's concentrate now on sizing for the tubes and once that's done, then we can fly at it full speed and get this over with.